Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and as we wind down the remaining weeks of the year 2011 I'm going to begin a new series of video tutorials where I assist or answer the multiple requests that I'm getting from viewers for tips to create time worksheets for individual weeks in the new come in the upcoming year the year 2012 so one of my viewers wants my assistance in creating basically a template that can be copied over to 52 worksheets so what we first have to do is understand the method for inserting blank worksheets efficiently and so there are two tips. In all versions of Excel, Shift plus F11 will insert a new blank worksheet to the left of the active worksheet. So over here, this overview worksheet is the active worksheet. When I use Shift plus F11, I have a brand new blank worksheet inserted to the left. Now Sheet 4 is the active worksheet. Shift plus F11 inserts a brand new worksheet to the left. Now let me delete both of these. I'm going to hold down shift as I click on sheet 5 and sheet 4. So they're both selected. I'm in what's called group mode. So now what I want to do is I want to right mouse click and I'm going to delete them. If you're using Excel 2007, Excel 2010, there's a brand new command over here next to Sheet 3 or whatever your last worksheet is. And even though it has the command Shift F11, when you click on this command button, it inserts a brand new worksheet, a blank worksheet, to the right. Now, it's to the right of the last worksheet in there. When I first saw this, I said, oh, this is a godsend. I've always wanted to be able to insert a new blank worksheet to the right of the active worksheet, and bingo, I'll come over here. And I was so disappointed to see that the brand new worksheet that's blank with this command gets inserted at the very end. All right, so let's come back here again, and I'm going to select. I'm going to hold down Shift as I click on the first and click on the last worksheet right mouse click and say delete. Now in sheet number one I've set this up as my template. So you can see I've used merge and center and I've used heading one theme, merge and center, heading two theme. I have the days of the week, I have employees, I have special formatting set up for how I'm going to capture the hours work and I also have a formula over here that I wish to copy. So I have sheet two and sheet three are blank. So there's several ways that we can get a copy of the content, including the formatting. We can move or copy the sheet by right-clicking the tab and checking Create a Copy. Let me show you how this works. So here with Sheet 1, this has the information, the formatting and the content that I want to make a copy of. So if I right-mouse click and come up here and say Move or Copy, remember to check the Create a Copy box and then you have control over where you place it. For example, I could place it to the left over here. In this case, I'm going to place it to the left of Sheet 2. Click OK. So now you see I have my original Sheet 1, and by using that right mouse click, Move or Copy, Create a Copy, decide where you wish to place it to the left of or before and there you go. So all of the formatting for the cells is in place, all of the formulas are in place as well. So that's a really easy way to create an exact copy including the formatting. Right mouse click on the tab that you wish to copy, check the create a copy box and then just determine where you wish to place it. Now another method is to use control as you click on the worksheet tab that you wish to copy and then drag it and drop it. All right, let me come back here and I'm going to delete these two sheets. And remember I can select contiguous sheets by holding down shift as I click and then right mouse click and then delete. So now what I have is I'm going to use the second method control click and then drag and drop. So this is the sheet that I wish to copy. Hold down control as I click and then drag and drop. You see that arrow? It's going to tell me where it's going to be placed. So do the same thing. Select the sheet that you wish to make a copy of. Hold down control then click on that sheet. You see how the icon changed? You see you have a plus in there and then determine where you wish to drop it, where you see that arrow. So now again, it's very similar to what I had before when I did the right mouse click, 
move or copy, I have my sheet number one, the second copy of it. Sheet number one, the third copy. This time I'm going to make a, con uh, uh, a non contiguous selection. So select the first uh, worksheet that I want to delete, hold down control, select the second, and then right mouse click, and in this case I'm going to say delete click and click delete. All right, now I'm going to show you the third method, which is really one of my favorites. So after I've clicked over here to insert as many worksheets as I wish to get those blank worksheets in there, now I need a quick way to copy both the content as well as the formatting. So I want to be able to copy the formatting for the uh, hours uh, that are worked, the hours and minutes that are worked. I want to be able to copy over the formulas and I want to be able to copy over this nice formatting. So here is the sheet that I wish to fill across worksheets. So our first step is going to be grouping sheets. Now you see how I've been grouping sheets already by clicking, uh, holding down shift as I click the first worksheet. So over here, this is the worksheet that I wish to fill across the multiple worksheets. So I'm going to hold down shift as I click to the last worksheet in that contiguous group. That is going to be the key over here for the fill across worksheets. And notice up here at the top that I'm in group mode. So anything that I perform now will be copied across. Now the key element here is what you want to do is after you're in group mode, remember to go through and select the cells that you wish to fill across the worksheet. Again, that is your second gotcha step. First go into group mode, second gotcha, select the cells that you wish to fill across the worksheet. Now on the home tab of the ribbon, come over here into the editing group and you see there's a fill drop down menu and I want to fill across worksheets. Now this would be grayed out if we're not in group mode. So since we're in group mode I want to be able to fill across worksheets. What do I want to fill? I want to fill both the content and the format. So I'm going to select all. Click OK. Now the next gotcha step, the third gotcha step, is to remember to exit group mode. So ungroup. So now here's my original. Here's sheet 2, which was blank. Here's sheet 3, which was blank. Here's sheet 4, which is blank. Here's sheet 5. So you see how beautiful that is. Now one of the other uh, questions that I had from one of my viewers, and, and by the way, what I like to use uh, when I'm filming these lessons is I like to make a selection and then on the View tab, I come over here and say Zoom to the selection. So one of my viewers was saying, well, Danny, what if I add at some point new employees? So let's just say that we add two new employees over here. And in this case, I want to be able to copy the formatting. So I'm going to right mouse click over here with the Format Paintbrush, and I'm going to copy that formatting down through here. I also want to be able to copy down the formulas. So in this case, what I want to do, and actually I want to uh, uh, copy. I'll do Control C to copy, and come down here and say Control V to paste. So now I have added in additional employees. So what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to get those new employees into the subsequent worksheet. So at this point in week 15, let's say, we've added employee 6 and 7. So once again, Remember to group the worksheets that you wish to fill across. First gotcha step. In, uh, uh, and ensure that you are up here in group mode. Second gotcha step, select the cells that you wish to fill across. So now I've made that selection with the new employees, the formatting for the hours, and the formulas. And then what I want to do is I want to come over here on the Home tab of the ribbon, over here in the editing group and I want to click on the menu to fill across the worksheets and what I want to fill is both the content and the format so I select all click OK and finally the last gotcha step is to remember to exit or ungroup the worksheets so here sheet 14 only goes down through employee number 5 in week 15, we added in employees 6 and 7. We used the fill across worksheets and 
fill that into the next worksheet. So you see there are some great tips for being able to quickly insert blank worksheets and then three methods for making copies. Of course, the mover copy sheet, you wouldn't have to insert a brand new worksheet. Uh, likewise, with the click, uh, control click, drag and drop, you wouldn't have to uh, insert a brand new uh, worksheet. But I find that getting in multiple worksheets with one of these two methods is the best way to add in the blank worksheets and then take advantage of the fill across worksheets enter into group mode make sure that you select the cells that you wish to fill across those worksheets and then you have a decision to fill the content only the formatting only or both content and formatting so as i close out this lesson let me again draw your attention to my brand new secure online shopping cart shopping.thecompanyrocks.com you can see all of the new products that i uh, have created and also I keep adding up here to the header. If you click on the RSS feed for the company rocks, you'll see the last 10 postings that I've made. So you can quickly click and go over to one of my posts. So I hope you picked up a few new tips in this lesson and I will look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.